الحمد لله على As I said when you know I was talking to you inside the bus, it doesn't matter where you stand. The whole point is that we are on the same spot where Jesus was walking to and fro, moving around, talking to his disciples. This is the area where you are. The area that you know through the world. Now you are here physically. What else do you want to see? You cannot see Jesus physically. You need to picture him spiritually. The way he was walking here, talking to his disciples, teaching them, performing miracles. He talked about something. He said the word from Jesus cannot be, you know, changed by anyone. You remember what he, he prophesied concerning the Capernaum city? It has happened. Look at the place to be. Others are being, you know, modernized. Why are they not modernizing this one? The word must stand and no one can change it. Anyone can try to rebuild or to do whatever, but as long as it declares something here, no one can change it. So you are here. He said Jesus started his own ministry here after 30 years. He left Nazareth and he came to this place. Know for sure that this is the beginning of your journey. We are tapping spiritually. We are here physically, but spiritually we are getting the same strong foundation of Jesus, of our Lord and Savior. He said Jesus was not segregating to say, no, this one and that one. No. He came for effort. He talked about the Zacchaeus. You know the tax collectors. If you know, maybe you don't know this. There's a word Jesus said after Zacchaeus was confessing and he said, I'm going to give the money back to all the people. He said, This one too will be the son of who? Abraham. Because there was a covenant if you don't know. This is why before the revelation from Peter. They were only Jews who be baptized by the Jews. Even when it comes to relationship, as long as you are a Gentile, you cannot relate with them. But after this, everything changed. Now take note of the word he pronounced about Zacchaeus. He was not from this side. That is Jericho. He said, this one too, is, he has become now the son of who? Abraham. Meaning the covenant was pledged to whoever believes in Jesus. We are black people, he is white. He confessed something, he said, color is nothing. Jesus came for, he, he created all of us. It doesn't matter whether you are black, you are tall, you are short. We are the seed of Abraham by the blood of Jesus. So be serious that you are here. You are not a dualist. You believe in Jesus. You followed his foot, what? Step. That's why you are here. Sorry, I'm sitting down, uh, but uh, this is the way I feel that I should talk to you like this. But uh, bear it in mind that uh, we are on the same spot. Because sometimes I, when I look at uh, some of you, you want to be, uh, which place? Jesus was standing there. Yeah. Who will show you where Jesus was standing? Who was there? Eh? No one. As long as you are here, this is Capernaum, the seat of Jesus. You are standing where Jesus was standing. So, I'm trying to boost your faith. And the people there, I'm sure that we are going to share this good information to our brothers and sisters. That where I am standing, this is Capernaum, the seat of Jesus. Let me say this in them. You see, it's in the part of Shokungan. I'm a spiritual man. Everything that you carry will be as a tourist. But the spiritual man, everything that you are carrying is anointed. What is important, learn how to keep you know, the grace. This is history that we are hearing, but the grace is here. It's in the spirit. Okay? So God bless you, people of God.
You are a blessing to your country, Zambia. You are a blessing to your family. You are a blessing to your children. You are a blessing to your sister. For you to be the first person to stand where Jesus was standing. This is the very strong foundation for your children, your grandchildren, and all your family members. Thank you. God bless you. This is the synagogue where Jairus was a leader. The man went to Jesus and said, Master, my daughter is very sick. And the people said, no, stop disturbing the master. Your daughter is dead. But Jesus said, no, just believe. This is the synagogue, the original synagogue. Although they are you know, trying to modernize it, but this is the place. So we are in that spot. This is the first foundation of his ministry. And he raised all his disciples at this city of Capernaum to know that spiritually we are getting the same blessings. Anything which Jesus pronounced on this land, if you believe in him, you are also the partakers of these blessings. Thank you. God bless you. and make it as a like kind of church place for prayer don't for I don't think that it's big in the time of Peter no it was a very small same as the other houses on the other side